<clears throat> on the other hand... Spend Christmas night on four around the fire with the cold turkey nibbles and Sean Connery and Fred Zimmerman's romantic alpine drama. <laughs> Five days, one summer. Are you happy? How can you give your life to an old man who doesn't even belong to you? Slip slide in a way, bridge over troubled water and more. Come on, everybody, say yeah when Paul Simon hosts a gospel music extravaganza. <laughs> Golden girls are in the spirit. How's this dress look on? What's the difference in half an hour be crumpled on the floor next to an empty bottle of Jack Daniels? And then, what is 40 minutes long, has you and me in it, and has the very best of the last result? I don't know. A shark infested custard. Lastly, may I introduce With the Dire Straits live in 85. It is not Christmas night here on four. And in this, the early hours of Christmas morning, Channel 4 turns to the beauty of Bologna, a lusty tale in verse from Giovanni Boccaccio's De Cameron, freely updated by Roger Waddish with shadowy figures portraying the saucy shenanigans of medieval Florence. So if Father Christmas is still indulging in his mince pie and glass of sherry, I suggest he hops it back up the chimney pronto, lest his thoughts turn to less seasonal nighttime pastimes. And this seems like a good moment to wish you, if I may, a happy Christmas. Freeze. Those pyjamas are filthy. Anyway, these are your favourites. Mum, but rabbits in cup can. Look, Robert, these will need a soap. But... And the bus is coming at three. Well, I'm not going then. Come on. What's the problem, Robert? Dad, I can't wear these. Take your others. Mum says they're dirty. Oh. OK. One wash, but it might not be enough. Dip, dip, dip. If she uses an ordinary biological powder, one wash may not be enough. But let's go back and start again. With Bold's boosted biological power, stains like blackcurrant juice disappear first time, more of the time. Robert, there you go. All clean. Soft as bunny rabbits, oh, too. Mom. Have a good time, son. Bye, Robert. Dib, dib, dib. Bowl three. Cleans first time, more of the time. The power of flash liquid can now be controlled through a new jet cap. Flash liquid. Wipes out dirt in a flash. What would you like to drink, darling? Oh, I'd love a baby shower. Hey, I'd love a baby sham. Baby sham. Consort UK Holidays, the choice is yours. Discover out-of-the-way places on a touring holiday. Or get away from it all with a Consort weekend break. Why not really unwind with a week or two? That's real value. Great selection of activity breaks. Phone for your free Consort brochure or clip the coupon in the TV Times. Lou. Lou Tennant's name. I was between cases, so I stopped off at the sink in. The place was swimming over. I asked the barman for a tenant's pilsner. The cool taste was music inside me. So I asked for another. Anne introduced me to her sister, Candy Foss. Funny, I felt kind of hungry. She told me she had a problem. I had a choice. My tenant's pilsner or Candy's case. It was close, but not that close. Tenant's pilsner. It's good, but <laughs> not that good. Shoulders. I didn't know you had dandruff. Shh. I don't. Head and shoulders. I didn't know you had dandruff. I don't. Tests prove it. With ordinary medicated shampoo, dandruff can still be there.
but with head and shoulders used regularly, it's completely clear. Head and shoulders? I didn't know you had dandruff. I don't. So don't have dandruff. Have great looking hair. This country house on which we gaze, where noble people spend their days, employs a youth called Annie Kino, a bit like Rudolf Valentino. He does much more than stand and wait as steward on this vast estate. Though loyal to his lord and master, his lady makes his heart beat faster. Regard me as a rotten swine, but I'll not rest until she's mine. Bologna is a lovely place, but oh, that figure, oh, that face. What stirs my blood and drives me crazy is not spaghetti bolognese. Today, while peasants toil and grunt, his lord, Egano, means to hunt, a sport that was much favored then by wealthy country gentlemen. A hungry hawk is on his wrist, his day is planned, his wife is kissed. How truthfully the wise ones say, with puss away, the mice will play. The husband's gone, the coast is clear, the wife and servant sitting here confront each other over chess. But as the dullest mind may guess, the battle on the board is tame compared with nature's older game. The match is on. The stakes are high. There is more here than meets the eye. He moves a pawn. She moves a knight. He slides his bishop to the right. She counters with a strong defense. The game proceeds, becoming tense. He makes a slip. She takes his rook. He sighs as they exchange a look and tells her with a rueful grin. Me lady, you are going to win. I fear I have left it far too late. Yes, Anakino. Check and mate. She watches his apparent woe, not guessing he had planned it so, for he had shrewdly played his part to lose the game and win her heart. Please, Anakino, tell me true. What is it now that troubles you? Surely a simple game of chess is not the cause of your distress. Milady, it is vain to lie. The time has come to tell you why I strive to serve you and your lord. It is not to earn a slave's reward. Let me confess to God above. I have become a slave to love. Is this a secret I may share? Who fills your heart with such despair? Oh, Anakino, tell me, please. Oh, but what are you doing on your knees? Madonna, I confess with shame that Anakino is not my name. It's Lodovico whom you see before you now on bended knee. I heard from friends that you were fair, a beauty quite beyond compare, divine, a goddess in a dream. And so it was, I hatched my scheme, I changed my name. I only knew I wanted to be close to you. Oh, grant me what I most desire before my silken hose catch fire. What lady 
be she dark or blonde, could hear such words and not respond? My dearest, you are so sincere, I swoon with every word I hear. No sweeter song was ever sung. I am won over by your tongue. Come to my room at twelve tonight. I shall be sleeping on the right. Just touch me, and I'll awake, and we shall ease our mutual ache. Famished, he nibbled at a crumb, knowing the best is yet to come. Soon after Anikino goes, his body tingling to his toes, he bathes himself and, drenched in scent, gets ready for the main event. his hand and holds it fast, and Anikino is aghast. He trembles. He's as white as chalk. Wake up, Egano. Oh, what? What? We uh, must oh. talk. Oh. Tell me, of all your retinue, who is the most attached to you? Why, Anikino. None but he. He leads the field in loyalty. He proves his worth in every task. But what in heaven made you ask? You think your servant's tried and true. Egano, I've got news for you. When you were hunting yesterday, he tried to get me in the hay. What? I said, while faking my delight, I'll let him have his way tonight. Wait in the garden by the pine, and I'll be yours, and you'll be mine. She still holds Anikino's hand. He thinks... This isn't what we planned. I thought we shared a common itch. Oh, curse her, the deceitful bitch. The lady says, Let's set a trap. Igano, who's a trusting chap, falls in with what she now suggests to further both their interests. I'll not go to the pine tonight, but you shall give that brute a fright. You can unmask his treachery by simply dressing up as me. Good heavens, what a good idea. You're absolutely right, my dear. I'll go and wait beneath the pine. Just wait until I see that swine. So saying, he puts on her dress and veils his face. And you can guess what thoughts within Igano stir as he departs disguised as her. <laughs> beneath the tree. But where can Anikino be? While love's old tale is sweetly told, Egano shivers in the cold. Back in the bedroom, wife and lover at last have managed to recover from their nocturnal exercise. They gaze into each other's eyes until she sighs. It's sad, I know. But now it's time for you to go. And take a heavy cudgel, too. And beat my husband black and blue. The husband waits. The trap is set. He murmurs, Is that you, my pet? Oh! Stop! Oh! 
you, faithless woman, filthy bored. Did you believe I'd wrong my lord? Oh, you're hurting me. No, no, please. No, no. No. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, oh. 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 Let me in. Oh, Petrici. Petrici, let me in. Let me in, let me in. Back with his wife, he wants to know why Anikino beat him so. He asked you once to break your vow. Why should he be so loyal now? I think that he was testing me. He can't bear infidelity. Then surely we should make it clear we honor him and hold him dear. Thus to the end of this affair, in which three happy people share, with trusting husband, loving wife, the servant can enjoy his life while he is free to serve his lord and push his peace across the board. I'd like to send some flowers to the wife. Certainly. Any special occasion? Birthday? Anniversary? N not exactly, yeah. Uh, I'd just like some flowers to say I didn't mean what I said about your driving. And purple does suit you. Uh, oh, yeah. P.S. All right, I won't go to West Ham on Saturday. <laughs> it's no problem. Why don't we send her a nice bouquet? Into Flora. You bring the thought, we'll bring the flowers. Martini Extra Dry. Have it with or without. With friends. With pleasure. Martini Extra Dry. It's there to be discovered. A business is a funny animal. It needs regular feeding to keep it ticking over. But when it sets itself new goals, all it needs to do is turn to the Royal Bank of Scotland. They have a full range of financial products to help make a company thrive. So if you want your business to really go places, talk to the Royal Bank of Scotland. Clifford is quite the bon viveur. Tonight, he's entertaining an old flame. Luckily, strong-tasting Listerine antiseptic mouthwash kills the germs that can cause bad breath. And, a recent report shows, Listerine can also kill germs that form plaque. Oh, Clifford. Listerine antiseptic mouthwash. Hello. <laughs> strong enough to take your breath away. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm having a dinner party and I've run out of coffee. <laughs> Come in. Thank you. Will gold blend be too good for your guests? Oh, I think they could get used to it. It's a very sophisticated coffee. They have very sophisticated taste. Do they? Yes. Well, I must be getting back. Now, golden roasted, richer, smoother, 
Nescafe Gold Blend. Have you met your new neighbor yet? Oh, I've uh, popped in for coffee. I bet he drinks Carling Black Label. Nah, it looks like water to me. Your best bet for a fuller flavor. Carling Black Label. Is your dentist chair an easy chair? It is for Stephanie Sparks. It is, yes. What toothpaste do you use? I use Tartar Control Crest. I've been to the dentist since I've been using it and I didn't have to have a thing done. And that is the first time I've never had to have anything done because she always, always scrapes. Tartar has to be scraped away, but with Tartar Control Crest, almost everyone has less tartar and some have none at all. Since I've been using it, it has definitely made an improvement. It's decreased ever such a lot. Tartar Control Crest helps keep teeth tartar-free.